painting skies. Uh, I know some a lot of people have difficulty in skies, but uh, you, you need to pay a lot of attention to observation, looking. And I, I prefer to paint in a very impressionist style. Um, very rough, but it seems to work. It works for me. Right, we've got colours. We've got cadmium yellow pale, yellow ochre, cadmium red, ultramarine, red ochre. Uh, I only use this because Stuart Davis used it. And I tried it and it was a bit different than the light red I had been using. But there's, that's not, I don't think the red ochre is in the Dale Rowney or Winsor & Newton student ranges. But this is a Sennelia, Sennelia, the Etude range, all the, all the student quality, and uh, Payne's Grey. So we'll start with a bit of Payne's Grey, we'll start with a bit of white, a touch of blue, uh, and just start racking it, racking it on. I've primed this bit of watercolour paper um, with a with a mix of burnt umber and burnt sienna. Takes a bit of covering to start with, but once we've got some paint on it. Uh, It'll be a bit easier, but we're using a bit of oil at the moment, so that'll be a bit slippery for a little while. We just just cover. I'm not really sure what sort of landscape with a bit of a hair there from the primer. Let's see if I can dig it off. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I mixed uh, the uh, burnt sienna and burnt umber with a bit of PVA glue. Well, acrylic is PVA. So if you're wondering about it, well, I like mixing. Uh, Blue and Payne's Grey, they make a, a good dark. I shouldn't have put blue in there. But it's taking a bit of paint, there's a bit of, quite a bit of drier in my, in my uh, linseed dish, lid. I'm trying for a dramatic sky here. Okay, let's cover that. Now, as for a landscape, well, I might do a sort of a, I don't know, a wet landscape. I'll have a bit of, bit of green anyway. Let's just get that on. Clean the brush with uh, by pulling it through a bit of old toweling. Right, uh, get back to the sky now. 
Well, just, just roughing in, because there's some fast drying oil in the paints, it doesn't take that long to go a bit tacky, but I want a, I want a dramatic sky. It's grey, not a very strong colour, a bit of white in it. it turns everything sort of well. I know some people wouldn't touch uh, paint and scrape with a barge pole, but uh, Bend in gently. Such a grey, I think, in that uh, bit of cloud. Just work away at it until you get something that you like. A 
bit of blue in for that grey there. Just Okay, well, let's work out four of them now. Well, middle distance, uh, change the brush. Uh, Payne's Grey Ultramarine, touch of white. Now we've got sort of mid tones there. I'll soften around the edges here.
Well, I'm not sure about that, gone a bit, bit, bit high there. Right, I don't like that lump in the middle there. Uh, right, clean the brush, see if we can just get a bit of a Oh, it looks a bit better. Let's uh, just lose some of that in the misty, murky. Just uh, fill that have it. Let's try to get a bit of um, character on that uh, middle distance. Put some more paint is quite out of use. It all. It's all vanished. Plenty of pain scrape, I've got another tube of this uh, from my mate Alan. I'll find him up later on. Uh, okay, a bit of blue, a bit of black, oh, a bit of pain scrape. So it's sort of a bit of misty. Right, now we can make something of this foreground. Uh, I'm going to use um, my cheapo brushes. Very nice. Okay, here we go. So, um, paint's grey. Get off. Texture. Texture and tone. And put a bit of a put, bit of that. Yeah. Just a sort of a mauvey ready colour in that foreground. Just give a bit of shadow colour. Yeah. 
they don't be frying the foregrounds. Do them quick and rough. This is, is mostly a, a sky painting. And we'll get some, some light on here. A bit warm. We could call this uh, skies and uh, foreground practice. Let's get a bit more shadowy colour in. There, yeah, plenty of red. Wow. Right, get some white in with that ochre. Okay, some more light, get some nice light green or yellow. Alright, now I just wonder if I could put in a Bit of a, a tree sticking up somewhere. Bring the brush. Right, uh, get a tree somewhere, probably coming out of here. Just going to try to get a nice dark, darker green on there. Oh, 
Right, now a nice light yellow. Catching that light. There we are, three. A bit more dark in, in here. Okay, so we've got a so we've got a focal point now. Um, we can probably put another one up there, but much smaller and more distant. So let's. Uh, So we've still got the light coming, from, we'll say it was coming from there. So we'll just strengthen up in there. Put those little lights in. And a bit more of that uh, mix of warmer sort of shadow. Got a blob there, I don't like that, it's got a dark green. There's a sort of shape I don't like there. That's a bit better. Okay, we'll let that go. So that frames that little bit of, we can make a bit more of that light in there, I think. I'll just left the clock. I've been on this all of 30 minutes. Okay, I'm not going to put a house or anything in that. I just want to okay, whatever we are, two trees <laughs> in a landscape. Uh, we, oh, I suppose we could put a couple of poppies in because there's so much green and 
and look how that sings. Well, red being a complementary of green, it really sort of lifts that foreground. It's a bit of a bit of white or a bit of ochre. Just creating some sort of illusion. Now, that's all. Everything here is just suggestion. It's not painted with a little brush, is it? But it looks like it. But it's painted with leaf. Really, these brushes are superb for creating that effect. Oh, I'm not going to do any more to that, other than put it in a show it in a mount. So clean my hands. Move this. I think I've had enough of painting for today. I'll do some more in the morning. I'll do a couple of watercolours for one for you and one for my patrons on Patreon. And don't forget you can look on my Etsy channel, the links are always on the videos. Uh, right, okay. Um, right. That, leave those there, take those off. Off. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. Always look better in a mount. Oh, there we are. Plenty of light in that. I love the sky. It's a. It wasn't as easy as it looks. It's getting that effect that's not sort of uh, corny, if you know what I mean, hammy. Uh, it's a sort of a light before, light through the storm, light through the storm. Okay, right, I hope you like that folks. I'll see you soon. Oh, well I could Pull the camera over there. Just oh, no, go away. Oh, oh. oh well, there we are. It's as central as I'm going to bother to get it. But I quite like that. that. That light does shine through the, the, the landscape. What we've got is this highlights picking up the, the light coming from behind these clouds. Well, I hope you like it and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.